Hello Reformers and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic and Zainash once again, our Sith Inquisitor. And we are going to be doing a, cha a traitor among Chiss. I was going to say a traitor among Triss, wasn't I? Yes, I was. And we have arrived on Capero, and we have Reyna Temple as our companion. Years ago, Zenta risked her status to adopt a powerful force sensitive into her family. The Chiss consider force users to be contaminated, impure. Without Zenta's support, Destroy the outsiders! Banished, or worse. You know how to make me feel welcome. Right, so I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be doing the bonus here. I personally feel like I should just sneak on through and get to where we need to go. Reeling from Chancellor Madon's resignation and the loss of Supreme Commander Jace Malcolm, the Republic has entered a state of political stagnation. Many speculate Sith Empress Asina will use this moment of weakness to push for the capture of the resource world known as Iocath. Radicals within the Senate urge Interim Chancellor Galena Rands to retaliate, but the complicated nature of current elections has slowed any progress. Meanwhile, more than two dozen Republic colonies have reported a raw materials crisis, halting the production of weapons and defense systems. Well, it seems like my stealth tactic actually worked out pretty nicely. Obviously, if you want to do the bonus missions, then that's up to you. I'm personally not too bothered about them. Anyway, let's head in here and defeat the Guardian Droid. Yes, it's going to be kind of difficult because these guys, I know these this, this kind of layout of this droid and uh, it's gonna have some pretty nice abilities but obviously if we can avoid those for the most part I mean obviously they're heavily telegraphed so you can quite easily see where they're going to appear obviously this is just a lock-on ability and I will be unable to dodge that but thankfully we have Reyna here and she's a fantastic healer like every companion is that is set up for healing and I won't have to worry too much Although, I am actually having to worry a little bit here because the droid has brought in reinforcements for these tank droids and, uh, well, they remind me very much of the uh, droidicas, uh, which are obviously present in the, uh, in the Clone Wars and, uh, and so on and so forth, but uh, yeah, this is... Uh, th that was actually quite a bit of damage. I actually took quite a lot of damage right there because they have this huge AoE ability and you, you can see here that it actually stacks as well. So if you stand there, bad things are going to happen. And it looks like we have this in the bag. Now, thankfully, I haven't really had to focus on too many ads. Maybe two phases of ads, really. But most of the time, the only thing I've really needed to watch out for is that big AoE ability that comes out every now and again. This is very easy to dodge, of course. It's just a Kono ability, but that large AoE, that's the one that you've got to be a bit careful of. Otherwise, we're done here, and we can now proceed where? I was thinking I needed to go through the force field, but it seems like I need to go this way instead. I read Theron's dossier before arriving. It said he was one of your closest advisors. We're going to the main level by the looks of things. All right. Well, this is... Uh, this is kind of an infiltration mission more than anything, and I'm actually liking it quite a bit because, obviously, in the grand scheme of things, you don't really get a lot of opportunity to do sneaking in the game. You know, because obviously I'm playing a Sith Assassin makes things much, much easier when stealth is called upon, and especially considering these enemies do not have stealth detection, so it's obviously going to be much easier for me to sneak by than it is for me to do anything else. Ah, so I had no idea how to traverse this area, and you can see exactly what they're attempting to do here. I, I thought to myself, oh, there's, not, there's, no, there's no bridges, there's no slopes, and uh, no ways to climb up. Yeah, there are actually grappling hook little points here on each of the little areas, and that is 
In my opinion, easier, of course, if you know about it. I obviously didn't for quite some time. And it looks like we have found who we were looking for. Yes, they are over there. Let's see what they have to say for themselves. Oh, never mind. Apparently, they just want to fight immediately. All right, let's it do it. Seems we have guests. I was thinking to myself, oh, it's going to be a conversation. We're going to need to persuade them to give up Theron's location. But no, 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 no. It's just a straight up fight, which is, I suppose, fine with me, considering, you know, these enforcers are going to fall very, very quickly to our damage over time effects. And she is going to use impulse. Okay, interesting. And she's actually a sniper, by the looks of things. She's actually a sniper. Whoa, where, where did she go? Where did she go? Oh, okay, apparently that's a... Uh, a phase kind of thing going on with her, and ah, never mind. It's not a phase. I can actually go up here. And we can actually do a little something to uh, take out these snipers. And we can do some damage to her in the meantime as well. Bear in mind that I am actually out of range of Reyna right now, so this is pretty bad for me. So I'm probably going to go down here once again and just get a little bit of healing and then maybe once we have eliminated this assassin who is constantly attempting to harass Reyna here, not, not particularly pleased about that, then maybe we can go up and hopefully Reyna will join me. I, I don't, I don't know whether she will. That, I think that's a bit of an issue with the companions in Star Wars. They don't seem to be able to traverse these various elevations, I guess you could call them, and uh, especially in combat. That was uh, a main problem that we were having in the previous episode, where Lana and uh, and Theron, amusingly enough, were kind of stuck. They were kind of stuck looking at some enemies behind this wall, and I couldn't do anything about them because the enemies were in combat with us and they were doing some weird stuff. So I don't exactly know why I cannot get Rainer up here. I guess the only way I can get her up here is by switching her to passive, and then I can probably do that. And it's as I thought, yes. I did need to activate passive behavior on her and then and then reactivate her, you know, fighting capabilities. And so that basically makes it much, much easier for them to just warp up. And, uh, yeah, then I now have a companion to help me out on the second phase here, which is rather nice because fighting without a companion, that's a short death sentence, especially for me at this, at this moment. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to either convince this person to... Oh. Did she go back down? Yes, she went back down. Okay, come on, Reyna. It seems like we need to jump down once again. Don't let them out alive. Okay, amusingly enough, there seems to be something. Oh, hello, high-powered snipe. Am I dead? I might be. I'm. I might be. Uh, Reyna, where are you? You're healing me. Oh, oh, there's actually a slope. I had no idea that was the case. All right, so I've actually been fighting this for quite some time now, and apart from obviously running back and having to fight many, many units on the way here, the actual fight itself is kind of a bit Don't weird. It, it kind of feels to me like this is group content. It feels to me like this is made for a group because the boss goes upstairs and... You think to yourself, yeah, okay, that's fine, you know, boss going upstairs, okay, yeah, that's great, you know, it gives a little bit of dynamicism to the to the fight itself. I thought she was going to come down now, that's why I jumped down. Anyway, apart from that, it kind of makes sense to have numerous people, because obviously your companion, or at least my companion here right now, is not really doing the greatest. Let's, let's just say that, because she continually gets attacked by ads that spawn, and I'm going to have to go upstairs unless I tell her to go on passive to come with me. And personally, I don't think I should have to do that. I, I don't know. I feel like the companion should just follow me wherever I'm wanting to go. But maybe I'm just being lazy or maybe I'm just complaining a bit much. But the fact is, is that I didn't really think the design of this Flashpoint was the greatest. And uh, that's a bit of a shame, really, because I actually kind of like Flashpoints sometimes. I feel like they're kind of fun to break up the monotony of running from point A to point B. But... You know, sometimes it doesn't really get it that right. I see you've met our traitor. Have you secured yours? He's gone. 
It seems Theron Shon has betrayed us both. He wasn't seeking refuge on Capero. He was after the Chist Relic hidden here. Does she mean the Hollow Map? I'm going to need an explanation. Long ago, Chiss agents stole a Hollow Map from the Sith Emperor in case our deal with the Empire went sour. It shows the coordinates to the Emperor's greatest secrets. It's been hidden here on Capero, and only the highest ranking Chiss can access it. Sean knew this, and he used me. He sliced into my personal logs to steal the map's location. Once he had what he needed, Sean took my best fighters and abandoned me. You took in a known traitor. What did you expect would happen? Trust me when I say I had no idea what devastation he was truly planning, Commander. Sean has joined a group searching for a powerful weapon. One capable of destroying entire civilizations. They want to use it against you and the Alliance. That map will lead there on straight to it. Let's see where you're hiding. There it is. Of all the planets in the galaxy. Then our objective is clear? Yeah. Trust in my vision, Sean. You will not fail. Well, I hope you're right. For all our sakes. Seems we now have a mutual enemy. I've sent you the coordinates to Sean's location. If you hurry, you can stop him. One moment, Commander. As you know, Syndic Zenta is a traitor to the Chiss. Officially, we can't act on this. But you can. If you disposed of Zenta, you would have the gratitude of the Ascendancy. I may even be able to broker an alliance. You wouldn't dare. You have a deal, Aristocra. The Ascendancy thanks you. I've received Zenta's map coordinates, Commander. Let's go. We're not letting Theron escape again. Ah, Star Wars. Yes, yes, especially this game. It seems to have some rather amusing bugs still in the cutscenes where your lightsaber does not f actually get, you know, disabled and uh, is then shining right through your body. And especially considering my fighting stance. Did you see Zaynash's fighting stance in that cutscene? He was like, yes, I am a Sith warrior. I must hold my lightsaber exactly how a Sith warrior would hold it. And as a result, the one side of the double-bladed lightsaber was between his legs, and I'm sure he wants to live dangerously, but probably not that dangerously. The Chiss used these beasts to guard their valuable secrets, and to access them. You'll need to earn this one's trust in order to cross. Alright, so as I've just been told over the Hollow Communicator, I am required to get this creature's trust to be able to pass, and so I suppose I will be getting a fruit, and I will be throwing that fruit. I've seen this trial before, a test of logic. Be careful, a wrong move will spring one of Copero's many traps. Right, okay. Well, it seems like I did okay in that regard. Now let's have a look here. The Steam Channel Distributor is missing a component. Ah, interesting. Okay, so we must search for it. And I'm actually wondering where it is, because... Ah, okay. I seem to be needing to go... This way? This is kind of weird. Hmm. Do I need to kill these? Surely I don't... Ah, I might need to go up this way instead. Yes, there we go. Finding an alternate route is usually the right way to go, and I see some glowing blue quest items. Yes, exactly what we need. I hope so, at least. 
Ah, ancient battle droids, how wonderful. Yes, Capero certainly is a planet of many mysteries and wonderful, deadly, deadly, deadly things. And it seems like the last door, door number three. Yes, door number three has what we require. There we go, okay. Did I, did I take the thing? Yeah, apparently I took the thing, whatever it was that I needed. And now we can hopefully go back this way. There we go. And this is going to power up the steam and hopefully melt the ice over there. Commander, this is a test of strategy. You'll need to disable these lasers to safely pass. But the way forward is not always what you expect. Disable the lasers, you say. Okay. I will run into the lasers head first, as I usually do in these kinds of situations. Every single time in Star Wars, whenever there's been a couple of lasers or some kind of puzzle regarding lasers, I am always the first to be like, yes, okay, lasers, to the face, please. Oh, well, uh, ah, these, these, this should be kind of easy. I, I feel like this should be kind of easy. But uh, me saying that is probably not going to... Oh, okay. Yeah, this is actually kind of easy. If I was a normal class right now, <laughs> one without stealth, I would be fighting those droids right now. But thankfully I am not, and I do have the stealthy ways. And I am able to get by very easily. Unfortunately, some of the time I do go the wrong way still. But thankfully, this eliminates most of the painful stuff that we would have to do otherwise. Oh, I was actually hoping that it would stop there. Oh well. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. I am still able to sneak by. I'm, I'm being very sneaky. This is, this is probably the sneakiest I've been in a long time. And uh, that's saying, that's saying something. There we go. Very nice. That was it. Very good. Okay, so what is this now? Discover a way past the iced over archway. Right. Well, there is actually something up there. So I should probably go and activate that. But I'm going to be attacked. Okay, so I've removed this. So what is that? Macro binoculars. What does that do? I have no idea what that does yet. I suppose we are going to have to find out a little bit after disposing of these enemies. Okay, so let's see what these macro binoculars do now. Right. Aha. Okay, so I'm actually going to have to use them to do something, but what? Uh, let me have a look at the description. Allowing you to identify and scan distant targets. Yeah, I knew that. After scanning an object, pertinent information about it will be displayed. Oh, okay, well, maybe one of these objects right here I need to scan? No. No. Okay, so apparently these binoculars are used for something else, perhaps. Maybe nothing I need to do right now. So I guess the first course of action is to, once again, eliminate some enemies. And we are now going to activate all of this. Oh, there we go. We activated that and we can now get through. And apparently Theron is right on the other side here. So I'm very interested to see where he actually is and uh, what these binoculars are for. I'm assuming I'm going to need to spot him as we go around. Uh, actually... Ah. I see. Okay. What is the point of the stairs if I can just go around? Oh well. Maybe it's symbolic. Maybe people have made alternate paths. And we've made it. End of the line, Theron. Go! I'll hold them off! No, you'll never win! Victory isn't my fate, Theron. It's yours! Oh. Well, Theron has a, a new haircut. Yes, I actually uh, did not comment on that beforehand, but uh, he does. He has an, a, a, lo a lovely, lovely new haircut that represents his rebel ways, and uh, well, I suppose we are going to... Ah, oh, he's he's immune. He's immune to interrupts, isn't he? Of course he is. Is he, is he immune to every interrupt? Yeah, I suppose so. And I, I don't suppose he will actually be able to get stunned. Amusingly enough, I brought up the tutorial window just there because I was actually pressing T, and apparently my keybinds have been reset, or 
rebound. And I have T on here as my stun, but it also brings up the tutorial menu. Sometimes I do need a tutorial, why not, you know? Might make some sense sometimes, but uh, not right now, thank you very much. Not while I'm in a, a uh, grueling battle of life and death. Well, I, I suppose it's not really that, but uh, I was actually kind of surprised to see this guy sacrifice himself. This guy is actually proving to be much more of a challenge than I anticipated. I actually thought that he was going to be one of those bosses that is just there just to absorb your time, but he's actually pretty hard, and uh, he has proven to be quite the worthy adversary. He's going stealth, as you can see right here. He brings out a couple of whirlwinds as well. well. Those whirlwinds are immune to damage, as far as I can tell. And you can see how much damage he's able to deal. Just insane amounts of damage. Thankfully, I do obviously have Reyna here. If I did not have her here, this certainly would be a very dramatic defeat. And uh, yes, thankfully, I do have some damage cooldowns up and running now, so I will be able to eliminate this guy pretty quickly, but... Obviously, it's taken a bit of time as it is. We were nearly there. How did he slip away again? Commander, I'm coming in for extraction. Let's get out of here. Oh, Lana's coming in for extraction. That's very good. I like that. And uh, apparently, we need to meet with Lana in the Alliance staging area. So let's uh, let's go and do... Oh, apparently, I can't do that just yet. And while we are back in the Alliance staging area, it's now time to meet with Lana. Sir, I've received an update from Aristocra Sagano. The Ascendancy has announced they are mourning Syndic Center's untimely death. Officially, they condemn the Alliance for her assassination. But Sagano is grateful for how you handled the matter. Should you need it, the Expansionary Defense Force stands ready to aid you. Privately. Does that mean they'll lend a hand and hunt for Theron? Sagano has eyes on every major Chiss world. If Theron shows his face, you'll be the first to know. In any case, I'd like to stay and continue working with the Alliance. I believe my connection to the Ascendancy could be valuable here. Good. We'll need the extra hands to capture Theron and find this mysterious group he's allied with. We managed to recover fragments of the hollow map he destroyed. I'm personally overseeing a team of engineers to piece them back together. I assure you, Commander, no one sleeps until we discover where the traitor is headed. Then I can finally wipe the condescending smirk from his face. When we're through, he'll wish he had disappeared. We're close to uncovering the next step in his plan. Then the real hunt begins. We received the coordinates. You've proven yourself useful, Theron. I held up my end of the bargain, now it's your turn. Will this really work? You have no need to worry. The Eternal Alliance and its commander will be destroyed. The Order of Zildrog will prevail. The Order of Zildrog, you say? I seem to remember that name from somewhere, even though it's been a very long time since I've played Star Wars The Old Republic, so, uh, yeah, that seems to be a thing. Anyway, the uh, Anathema Conspiracy, have I not done that before? The final clues to the conspiracy that Theron Shan betrayed you for are within your reach. The Alliance and the whole galaxy is at stake. Is, is at stake? No. At stake. Thank you. Lana Bonico has an update available for you. All right. Well, we're going to be doing that in the next episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.